Hi, brother. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome home. Thank you. Um, what is going on? Well, um, I don't know. How do you mean you don't know? I just left for school last week and mom called me to come back now. So? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Is father okay? Oh. Well, father is alright. When last did you see him? I saw him this morning. And when I saw him, he looked sound. Father is wealthy. Is there something you're not telling me? Princess, you're my only sister. My lovely sister. If anything is wrong, I, the prince, will be the first person to tell you about it over the phone. Okay, um, where is mother? She should be in her room. All right, I'll go see her now, okay? All right, very well done. I'll join you later. Right. See you around. All right. Mm -hmm. Where is our... What are you doing? I'm cleaning the car, sunshine. Ameka, I really don't understand all of this. Did I tell you this car needed washing? No, you didn't. But I saw the car dirty, so I decided to keep, keep it clean. Look, you need to stop all this. Like I told you, I have moved on. You have to move on as well. Sunshine, I begged you all throughout the night. But you knocked your heart. Why? But the records are forgiving you, okay? But being in a relationship with you is what I will never do again. Sunshine. Sunshine, I beg you from the depth of my heart. I know I've offended your sensibilities. I know I can't deny that. But please, I need another chance. There I are don't... no more chances for you. Ameka, you have exhausted all your chances with me. Get that in your head. There's nothing left. Sunshine, if you leave me, I will die. Oh, I will die. That's not a problem. But if you want to die, not in this compound. Go elsewhere and die in peace. Uh, uh, my, my, my parents called earlier and asked when I'll come with you. That's fine. What you will do now is call them back. Tell them I'm not coming to see them. Help me with the gate. It's very obvious she truly wants to leave me. Will that ever be possible? It's very obvious Sunshine wants to leave me. Okay. What I want to tell both of you has to stay between us. No one else must hear. Let people just watch and see things unfold. Your father is taking a second wife. What? What? Why? I have given my consent. I say. And I want you to do the same. Never! Mm -mm. It will never happen, that's what I said. No, mother. Father is not bringing in another woman into this palace. Kiroka, your father is king. He's at liberty to marry quite a number of wives that he deems fit. We cannot contest that with him. And I am here as prince to contest that. Other kings can marry as many wives as they wish, but definitely not my father. That will never happen in this palace. Hey. 
Ezenwa, I have given my consent and I need both of you to do the same. Listen, this is my fight. All I want you to do is be law abiding. Don't even talk to your father about this. Mm -mm. Mother, this is not just your fight. Your fight is our fight. So we're going to fight this fight together. Mother, let me tell you something. If you are not fighting this fight, I, the prince, will fight. And I'm not just fighting the fights for myself. I will fight for you as my mother. Because you are a good woman. And trust me, we must win this fight. Exactly. It's okay. I am disappointed in you. Adara. I want to ask you a question. And what question would you be possibly asking me? What is wrong with me taking a second wife? There's nothing wrong with you taking a second wife. The problem is that the woman you want to marry belongs to the street. No. She is a banker. Oh, please. Banking took her off the street, but the real has to belong to the street. You appear to know more about her than I do. Not that much. But from the little that I've seen, it is quite obvious to me that she accepted to marry you with sinister objective. What are you talking about? What sinister objective? You can't see it. No, seriously, bro. You, you can't see that this woman wants to exploit you. No, she is coming here to compliment me. She is coming to make me a complete king. Now, that is something that I've always longed for. Hmm? If you would listen to me, I would advise you to talk the part of your wife and save yourself from grudging problems all in the name of getting married to a banker. Odera, my mind is made up. There is no going back. What do I do? I love him more than the king, but he has hurt me beyond measure. What if he's just pretending to me now? What if he has come back to toy with my heart again and then leave at the end? Can I risk it? No, I can't. I can't. I'm moving on with the king. I can't just risk it with a Mika anymore. We need to talk. Why are you back home? Are you not supposed to be in school? I came back because we need to talk. I see that uh, you're both agitated. It's okay. I'm listening. Father, is it true that you want to take a second wife? Do you have a problem with it? Father, it's not about me having a problem with that or not. The question is why you want to get a second wife? Well, first and foremost, I'm an African. And then I am an African king. So that also allows me to marry as many wives as I can control and 
take care of. Did my mother do anything wrong to you? No, your mother has been a blessing, actually. Uh, your mother is the best woman that I know. A beautiful soul. Your mother can never do anything wrong to me. Then why do you want to marry a second wife? Well, because I have just explained that to you. Yeah? I am a king. I am allowed to marry as many wives as I can. With all due respect, Father, you just said it all. You just said that my mother is a good woman and we have been living happily as one family. So, I would say that your opinion to get a second wife is a no. Exactly. Father, you are not bringing any woman into this house. And that is fine now. Uh. It's okay. I've had enough of your rats. Just uh, leave my presence. We will leave, Father. But have it in mind that you're not bringing in another woman into this house. You go back to school. Back to school. In fact, this is what I never wanted in my life. To work in a palace where there's war. The king has to apply high level of discretion. Else things will blow out of proportion and the entire royal family will be ruined. Now I know why Princess Nkiru came back from school in such a short period. Isn't that what I've been saying? Hmm? Now, the prince and the princess are threatening to stop their father at all cost from getting another wife. <laughs> why are you losing sleep for those two? They can't do anything unless they want to suffer all the days of their lives. The king wouldn't be that mean to deal with his children in such manner. Mm. <laughs> you are mm. talking as if you don't know Ezo Kwe. Listen, he would deal ruthlessly with anyone who dares to stop him from doing whatever he wants to do. She doesn't know. Even if they are his children. Ezo Kwe does not send anybody. What is the queen saying in all this? That is why I'm telling us that the prince mm -hmm. and the princess can do absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the queen that should lead the charge has already succumbed. She's the reason I smell well actually. Because nobody knows the reason for her urgent approval. Well, are you suspecting there is something beneath her acceptance? If you are not thinking towards that direction, it can only mean one thing, which is you do not know who that woman is. Yes, because she will accept her in. She will let her husband bring her in. Hmm? Then she will clinically murder that woman. Nobody will even have a trace of what happened to her. The lady will die a natural death and will be forgotten so fast. That sounds so scary. I'm telling you, I won't be shocked if we are arrested for this. Nobody can arrest anyone from the Palace of Okwe. <laughs> I'm just smelling war because if the new wife dies, her family will start killing the palace members one by one. And that will be devastating. I was specific when I said no one should speak to your father about this. Who sent you? Mother, we sent ourselves. Yes. And the bottom line is, he's not bringing any other woman into this palace. Stop making such utterances and bring your voice down when you're speaking to your mother. What is wrong with you? 
Do you think you can stop him? Do you think both of you can stop the Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom? This is his palace, his house. He is the captain of this ship. Do you understand? I disagree with you, mother. This is our father's house. And we have equal right in this house as him. Both of you, who do you think you are? Do you think that you can stop the Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom? He is the Ezeokwe of Okwe Kingdom. And we are the sons of Okwe Kingdom. Yes, mother. This is our fight. Both of you just disrespected and disregarded my husband. I want you to go back there and tender your unreserved apologies. Mother, come on. Go on, Mother. Why are you asking the impossible? It is not impossible. And it's why I will say this one last time. Bring down your voice when you are talking to me. That man. It's my husband, my king, your king. Go in there and apologize to him or get out of my sight. As I'm going back to school now. Young lady, stop right there. I thought you said it was too late for you to go back to school. Yes, I did. But it's obvious. The both of you don't want me in this palace. Father just asked us to leave his chambers. And here you are asking us to leave your sight. So, let me go back to school. And I'm going with her. If you make one more move, you will piss me off even more. And you know what that means. That man. That king was first my husband before both of you came in and he became your father. You will not insult my husband and I take sides with you. Both of you leave my room this minute. Go to him and apologize. You know what, mother? It's obvious you're not seeing this from our own point of view. Even if father wants to marry another woman, she is not going to stay in the same palace with you. Shut up. Shut your mouth. That is not your decision to make. Ezoko is the king. This is his palace. You are his children and I am his wife. And he is the captain of the ship. He has the final decision. He will lose it. Oh, he will lose it and crush on both of you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Go to your father and apologize to him. My king. My love. The crown over my head. The husband of my youth. I want you to be happy. I want you to be fulfilled as a king and as a man. I want you to rule your people with a good heart. That is why I have come to, to tell you that you can follow your heart. I know that you're hurt. But this is not intentional. From the depths of my heart, I want you to know that I am sorry. For whatever pain this is causing you. It's okay. It's okay. 
I, I only wanted to contribute just a little to your happiness. I didn't know that you had already carved a path for yourself. You have always contributed to my happiness, you see. You have always been my rock. What is happening now does not negate the fact that you have been an excellent wife. One that has given all to her marriage. One that has loved her husband with all of her heart. I love you, baby. I love you even more. But this is not deliberate. I have to do this. What is happening is me yielding to the demands of our tradition and culture. It will never change how I feel about you, baby. No one is going to take any of my entitlement from me, correct? My queen, I swear to you, on the revered staff of Okwe Kingdom, the symbol of authority and power of our people, that no one will take what belongs to you. You have been with me half of my life. And I am not doing this out of selfishness. For with you I have everything that I need. I also swear on the sacredness of your queenship that my life be cut short if I ever contemplate taking from you that which you are entitled to because I'm bringing a different woman into the palace. My love, you don't have to come this far. But I need to give you the assurance that you need to understand that I love you from the depths of my heart. Miss Yama. Thank you. I hope that you'll be nice enough to welcome her when she comes to the palace. Before I had this conversation with you, I already made up my mind to welcome her. So yes, I will. Once again, you are my rock. Thank you for making it possible that I become a complete king. Thank you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. Here we come. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, you are welcome to the home and the palace of Ezogwe, of Ogwe Kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh no. Your Majesty. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Ezogwe of Ogwe Kingdom. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Here we are, your new wife. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick introduction so that you're probably acquainted with the people you're going to be spending the rest of your lives with. To my left, I have the Queen of Opening. I like to call her my First Lady, for she will always be by my side as a Queen of Ogwe. Greetings, my Queen. You're welcome to the palace, my co-wife. <laughs> and over there is my kid sister. Her name is Chidera. 
She runs and manages the palm plantation. Greetings, my princess. Because of pleasure, because of lust. Now look at you, see where you are now. Your world is changing, you don't know what to do. Look at you, see where you have come to. What a wadi wagi manebuna kebu. You've been stubborn, you've been strong ahead of You abandoned what's of wisdom No matter who you are, no matter where you're from You always need advice from people oh. Cause a tree can never make a forest oh. Nobody knows it all A tree can never be a forest oh. Please listen to the counsel of the people oh. 